It's over for David De Gea at Manchester United, people. It's officially over. After 12 years at the club. Yeah, you heard it. 12 years. That long time ago. And it's very sad to see a legend like De Gea living in these conditions. They gave him an offer on the table. He accepted less money. And then they took the offer from the table. <laughs> They're not offering him anything. So I think that was very disrespectful. I think they could have talked to him nicely and say, listen, man, we we have a new vision. We have a new profile of goalkeeper that we want. And, you know, give him a chance to make his own decision. You know what I mean? This, uh, th this is uh, the new modern football where we fans, we don't care about what happened yesterday. We don't care about what's going to happen tomorrow. We just care about now. So to see all the kids on social media disrespecting the hair, calling him names, it's just shocking. I don't understand that. So we win together, but you lose alone. When you, you're going through a tough time, you are alone. We don't support you anymore. Very sad to see the hair going out this way. But this is part of life, my people. This is part of life. Before we go any further, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment down below. This channel is for the people, by the people. It doesn't belong to any football club. It belongs to football fans. So please subscribe, like. Let's get minimum 500 likes for this video. God bless you. Thank you so much. Let's go. All right, my people. So, as you can tell here, his message after 12 years, uh, and he, uh, we're not going to read everything here, right? So he said, now it's the right time to undertake a new challenge to push myself again in new surrounding. That is very diplomatic way to say, you know, you didn't want him and I am going. <laughs> so where next for David De Gea? I've seen Chelsea fans on social media talking about Chelsea need to go for free agent David De Gea. Listen, first of all, his salary is going to be huge. He's going to command a huge salary. Chelsea are trying to cut the wage bill, which is too high, they've been cutting and cutting. So even if De Gea is a free agent, I don't think Chelsea are going to be able to pay him 200k a week. He was like on 400k a week at Manchester United. And you understand the reason why they wanted him out. So I don't think he's going to accept less than 200k in another team. Saudi want him. In Saudi, they're going to pay him probably the same money that he was on at Manchester United. Chelsea are not going to afford that. And I have also another theory. Why people try to always bring this kind of conversation in the Chelsea community? I don't get it. So think about it, my people. Huh? Think about it. You just let Edouard Mendy go. He was an old school kind of goalkeeper. You talked about, you know, he can't play from the back. He can't dribble past people. He can't, he can't, he can't. Well, and then you got another goalkeeper who got the same profile as Edouard Mendy. Why you didn't le let Edouard Mendy continue? Because he was on very low wages at Chelsea Football Club, why you didn't let him continue instead of, you know, instead of letting him go. So I don't see the difference really between Mendy and De Gea because they have the same flaws and they have the same quality. Short stopper, commanding in the box, crosses, set pieces, top bin, top corners, they can reach. They are physically imposing. Same old. 
But the second year, when Chelsea decided to 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 transform Edward Mendy as Noya Edison or Alison Becker, they wanted him to dribble. They wanted him to to be more than a goalkeeper, more than a traditional old school goalkeeper. And then he started having problems. Stop forcing people out of their comfort zone because you're not going to get anything. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. So after the hair, Manchester United now, it's 100% sure that they are going to get Onana. Talks been going on for a while. Onana already accepted personal terms. Inter got, um, I, I think, one bid already turned down. And now they might even stick on their guns and say you have to pay us more money because they know that Manchester United have no choice. They have to buy Onana. So Inter are in a very strong position now. I think it's going to be 60 million or nothing. You know what I mean? So this is a strong position for Inter. But listen, Manchester United fans, be careful what you wish for. Everybody is talking about Onana as if he was the perfect goalkeeper for, for you know, United. But keep in mind, he got also his flaws. Top beans, top corners, he can't reach because he's short. He's not really very commanding in the box. And you will see in the Premier League, he will be targeted. Believe me, he will be targeted and he will be found out. Believe me, this is the same reputation that Kepa Arisa Balaga came up with. When Chelsea went for Kepa Arisa Balaga, everybody made all kind of theories about how great he is with his feet. But you have to do the, the basics of goalkeeping first. You have to catch the ball. You have to release the pressure in the box. You have to catch crosses. You know, you have to do the basics of goalkeeping, saving the ball first. Playing, I think Onana takes a lot of risks. He come even in the midfield to try to participate to the, to the game. So he will be targeted and he will be found out. Like you will see some of the ridiculous goals that he will be conceding in the Premier League. He needs to, need to improve his game because this is the Premier League. Mo Salah is going to shoot from, I don't know, 60 yard or whatever, M, the top bin, and then it's going to be a goal. So be careful what you wish for because it's going to be, it's not going to be that easy as in, in, in Holland or in, in Italy. So... Onana is an upgrade when it comes to distribution playing from the back. But other area, he needs to improve. But he's still young. For a goalkeeper, he's still young. So he can improve. But do not expect Mr. Onana to be perfect. Okay, people. So, if you are a Chelsea fan here, would you take... David De Gea on free if the price is right, if his salary is right because he's a free agent. I think it's time for him to go to Saudi and get the money. If I was him, he won pretty much everything with Manchester United. He even won the Premier League, the last Premier League under Sir Alec Ferguson. He has nothing to prove to nobody. You go to Saudi, you got a ridiculous amount of money and life is good over there. So, where do you see Andre Onan, uh, David De Gea next season? Let's keep the conversation going. Chelsea or some other teams in Europe? Or you think he, he need to go to the MLS or, you know, the Saudi League? <laughs>